How you doing? I'm sitting outside under the gazebo, smoking a stogie. First one this year. I just told my wife, I said, I'm gonna go out and smoke a cigar. Which I don't really, don't really smoke it, but you know, I do a little bit. Puff on it. What's up, Richie, how you doing? Rubicel, Richie, how you doing, man? How are you, bro? So, uh, man, I um, I just watched a video. I did another video, but apparently I had my uh, settings off. But it was with Hank Norman had this 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 guy on Fred Ward, and man, it was freaking awesome. Look at the they. What's up, Dan Keller? How you doing, bro? Check it out. They just mowed. They just mowed today. Nothing like freshly mowed grass and the sun glaring in your freaking face. Holy moly. It's weird. We haven't we haven't seen the sun here in a little little bit. Drop some knowledge for us. Well dude, I'm gonna tell you, man, I just watched this video with Hank Norman. I'm interviewing Hank on my show on uh, on on Tuesday. Thank you, Richie. Laura Laura, bless your heart. Oh, uh, she hurt her wrist today. Everybody say a prayer for her to get through the pain quickly. So let me tell you, let me drop some knowledge on you. It comes straight from Hank Norman having, he, he, he had this guy on his live stream today, Fred Ward, and talk about total transparency and, an amazing, I mean, absolutely amazing breakthrough for this guy. It was incredible. Go check it out. I posted a video a little bit ago. What is going on back here? I'm afraid a bird's going to fly up behind me. So um, I posted a video a little bit ago on it. It was, um, it was incredible. So impactful. So powerful. And, and Fred is, um, and please don't judge me about the cigar. I, I never, ever, ever smoke, ever, ever. So, like, this is the very first, and I'm just, it's just burning right now, I think. Yeah. Just burning a little bit. But anyway, so, um, you know, I, 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 I watched this with Hank, and I was like, dude, that is, that's what life's about, man. Are you making an impact in other people's lives? A positive impact judgment free zone thank you bro i appreciate that <laughs> but you know are you making a solid strong positive impact in the lives of other people cuz cuz what else is life about if if that's not what it's about then somebody enlighten me tell me what it is about if that's not it dude enjoy <laughs> uh my brother how you doing t free <clears throat> yeah, I smoke them. I, I smoke a cigar. Maybe I'll, I, I'm, I'll probably only smoke half of this, and this is a pretty expensive cigar. But I'll probably only puff on about half of it, and and I don't do it very often. Very, I mean, really, I do it maybe once every. I don't even know. I don't even know when the last time was I had a cigar. Maybe five, six months ago. But you know, like. Tell me what life is about in from your perspective. <laughs> yeah, I know, Terrence. I know, bro. Like, tell me what it's about. If it's not about helping other people, like, if you really want to make it, you really want to make it in this world, you got to help other people. Like, you know, uh, somebody asked me about about getting, getting you know, my buddy who I, I interviewed, Jeffrey Gittimer, today on my show and and his his uh partner the other day jennifer gluckow on tuesday and i've got freaking um frank lopes coming on on monday i've got hank norman on tuesday i've got um hey sean allen how you doing annette kroll how in the world are you um so you know i um and I, you know, I've got Bob Berg, the author of The Go Giver. I was just emailing with him. He's going to get on the show. I've got Lisa Copeland, Elise Kephart. I've got a lot of super, super freaking rock stars 
coming on to the show that I'm going to be interviewing. And, and, you know, it's because it's not because I'm, I'm like somebody super special, which I, I am in some ways. <laughs> I'm kidding. But anyway, like, you know, it's because I, I, I flow power to those people. I help those people. I do everything that I possibly can to to flow power to other people. Abby Long, that's the girl that cuts my hair. Look at that, huh? Looking pretty tight, Abby. So, you know, that's what it's about, man. You got to help other people and and Hank had that that Fred Ward guy come on. You know, there's a fly. Hank's a here's Hank. He's a he's a I don't know how many times over a multimillionaire. But Hank is Hank is helping this guy like there's no charge. It was just like, hey, I want to help you, man. Let's let's talk through this. You know, it's it's like it, it, not everything has to be about, you know, like I do coaching programs. And, and yes, I have people that pay me, but I also have people that I help out just help out. So, like, you know, the, the now I don't go into long hour long coaching sessions or two hour long coach coaching sessions for for free typically but hey i've helped a lot of people greg crane up in canada eh? so that's what life's about man if you want to have more in life if you want to have more in life seriously and and i mean this like you've got to realize that if you want more out of life you've got to learn how to help other people and i don't care if it's maybe maybe you're like well i don't know how to tell people how to how to handle a, 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 a bad situation or how to, how to get, get, you know, their head on right or whatever. Maybe you don't know how to do that, right? Oh, dude, you are getting close, man. You are. Maybe you don't know how to do that, but maybe you know how to fix a broken step on, on their, their steps. Maybe you know how to, I'm, not that I have a broken step. I'm just saying maybe you have something that you can give to somebody else. Maybe whatever it is, we all do. You were sent here to this beautiful planet. You were sent here. Here, let me give you a view of the house. Alex Payne, what's up? There's the back of the house. I'm down here in the walkout basement area. We have this gazebo out here. My office is right inside that door. So I'm out here. I'm out here. Man, they just mowed the yard today, and it just looks its beautiful. Beautiful day. There's the guy across the street with the freaking big house, man. I don't know if you can see the big house. <laughs> it's a great soccer field. I should learn how to play soccer, bro. So, you know, like, that's what I mean. Like, Alex Payne, for example, I love that dude. He helps me out with sales funnel stuff. If I have a, if I have a question about, like, and he's one of the top funnel builders in the world, and I can call him anytime. And he, well, he answers, he answers my calls. Thank you, Greg. I appreciate that. He answers my calls, like, you know, 10% of the time. <laughs> I'm kidding. But, like, I've got all these freaking amazing people I'm interviewing on this show, and, and it's because I've gotten known in, in, in the world, not just in social media, but in, in other places, by when I had nothing, when I had absolutely zero dollars, when I was destitute, when I was broke, when I didn't know, I couldn't find my ass with both hands and a flashlight, I still figured out ways to give back. And when you can figure out a way to give back when you have nothing, your life will become magical. So, like, go watch in the last video. Just go to Hank Norman's page and watch the video that he posted of him and, and this Fred Ward guy. Or go watch the video I posted just a little bit ago. I went live from my computer, but I didn't have the set. I didn't know I had the settings on only me. I don't know how that happened. But I was like, why is nobody on my live stream? That never happens. But but that's why. So I went ahead and posted it anyway. But go check it out because this video is is Hank helping somebody have a serious breakthrough, a, a life changing, seriously, a life changing and permanent breakthrough. What's up, Douglas? How you doing, man? Good to see you. I'm out here smoking an annual cigar. 
<laughs> I don't I don't smoke cigars that often. I used to smoke them a lot. But huh. I I actually only smoke maybe once every four to six months maybe i don't know not very often and when i do as you guys can tell i don't i don't really smoke that much of it but you know i just i wanted to come out here it's a freaking beautiful day here and and i i'm i, I don't want to say we're done with snow because the last time i said that we had snow covering the ground the next day but i'm fairly certain we're done with snow now but anyway just just you know like like go help other people i don't care what it is it doesn't matter what's up james you know i i don't even know it's a um i think it's a um i was going to say a fuente it's not a fuente it's a um the the wrapper came off when i when i took it out of the plastic I forget, dude. I forget what kind it is. I think um, maybe a Padron. I'm I'm not sure, though. But anyway, um, normally if I buy cigars, which I had bought a couple of them, I just open up my humidor and I'm like, oh, I still have one in there. Um, I, I normally only buy really good ones. So, no, I'm not in Vegas, man. Heck no. God, no. I'm in I'm north of Columbus, Ohio, man. I'm back in Ohio. So... Um, anyway, listen, make life about helping other people and your life will become magical. I promise you, promise you, it'll become magical when you make it about how you can give back and help the world, help the world. People are looking for hope there. There's, there's a lot of, a lot of people out there that, that need what you have to offer. They need your, your help whatever it is it, who knows what it, i don't know what you're you're good at but whatever it is do that thing man and like hank says find the one thing find that one thing and do it and do it well and do it often and fail fail fast you're going to make mistakes but do it anyway who cares who cares and those that judge you screw them you don't want them around anyway like grant grant i've heard grant say like hey man People are going to, people are going to, when you're putting stuff out, people are going to unfriend you. They're going to unfollow you. They're going to do this. They're going to, those people aren't your customers anyway. They're not people that you want to deal with. Those aren't people you want to hang out with. So like, like, you know, that's right, man. All people are looking for direction and hope. Absolutely. And everybody needs a lift up. They need a hand up. They need somebody to help them. They need that direction and guidance and it's all, it's all over the place. So, so don't be, don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Go help other people, go help other people and your life will become magical. This world is not all about you. Like, do you want people standing over your casket at, at your funeral going, man, that was one selfish dude right there. Or, or that guy right there, that guy liked to help people all the time and everything that he did and, or gal. Right. So it doesn't matter who it is like you just got to you got to figure out what you're good at, even if it's something simple, fixing somebody's step. Right. Fixing fixing somebody's step, helping helping. Some, but but make it your de daily goal to have a positive impact in somebody's life and your life will then become magical. All right. I'm out. I'll see you guys. Thank you. I appreciate y'all jumping on here. Have an awesome evening, and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Have a good night. Thanks for being here.